Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Stuart. This is the S. Stuart Hour. This is a live group of business coaching for travel professionals. Today is Thursday, June 7th, and I'm glad you're here live. We've got a lot on the agenda. If you're watching not live, I'm still glad you're here because you know I make this available uh, as an instant replay or as an MP3. So the things we're going to tackle today, what I'd like to do, friends, is start off with the Group Sales Success Summit 2018. As you guys come to me for feedback uh, and uh, uh, ideas and, and, you know, coaching, which I'm grateful for, I am coming to you for that. I want to give you the opportunity to take a look at what I've got, take a look behind the scenes. I'm not going to take up a lot of time and I would appreciate your, your feedback because I want to make this the biggest group event, the biggest niche event truly ever in the history of our industry. I'm not sure something like this has been done, exactly this kind of format. Then we've got Karen's question, I've got Christopher's question, and I know you guys bring lots of questions as we pick up momentum and we get this party started. We do have today uh, our regular group boot campers and our alumni. Hello, alumni. Welcome back. I love you. I'm glad so many of you have showed up today so we can talk about the summit too and do some business coaching. So before I do begin, let me just check the, the uh, comment question board. I see so many people filing in here, so many wonderful, beautiful names. That is awesome. Thank you for giving me this time. I'm really grateful. I know it's not easy carving out time, but man, when you take time out to read a book, to watch a video, uh, to have a conversation with a mentor, to talk to a coach, uh, it, it, you know, taking that time out, we, we won't we won't miss that time. We won't miss that time because something golden could happen. I believe if you're here, you're here for the right reason, for a good reason. Something magical is going to happen, and I'm grateful. So let me look at the questions. Um, oh, heavy whipping cream. Yeah, HWC, man. Man, I cannot do that. Uh, Monique, we're talking about tea. Matcha and Moringo are awesome teas. I That sounds interesting. We'll have to check that out. I haven't had those, I don't think. Lena, uh, okay, great. Lena, you posted a question. Perfect, and it's a fundraising question. I promise you we'll tackle. Jean Ann is in the house. Good morning, all the way from New Jersey, right, Jean Ann? I'm glad you're here. All right, so here's the deal, folks. Let me dive in. So, oh, let me put this on. Let me put this on. Vibrate. It's on vibrate. I have to tell you something funny. I was doing, oh, I think it's funny. I was doing a webinar for my great friends at the Travel Institute. I'm one of their their uh, teaching professionals, and I had my phone on vibrate, just like right now. And every time I would say, just like now, I would say, let me ask you a question. My iPhone, Siri, would turn on and say, what question do you have for me, Stuart? <laughs> and sometimes I said, uh, uh, I said, let me ask you a question, and I, and I asked the question. Siri would attempt to answer that question. Now, I figured out how to shut that off. It was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious and a little bit frightening, too. Um, okay, so, okay, Karen, you have a, a question posted there, too. Perfect. I'm going to come back to you, I promise. So what I want to do, friends, is kick off with this. Um, I had this idea because I participated in an online summit and this concept, I did not invent this concept. Now, if you have not yet been to the website and my guess is my alumni boot campers have not. So I'm going to attempt to do something here. Let's see if this works. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And what I'd like to know is, can you see this screen? Can you see me scroll on the screen? Uh, just some somebody say yay or nay. Yes, you can. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Jeanan. Lori say, hey, Lori. Uh, Lisa, beautiful. So you can see this. Judy, hey, Judy. Everyone's in the house. So, and and uh, my boot camp alumni, I will give you this URL too uh, because uh, I've, I've, I'm still working on the site. So basically, and I'm going to read it to you real quick. If you haven't seen this before, um, actually, I can't read it because this control panel is too darn big. Now it's gone. Interesting. 
Uh, affinity group sales is today's highest growth category. Creating a thriving group travel business has never been more important or accessible. Learn from our highly accomplished speakers that include successful executives, motivational speakers, skilled trainers, top business coaches, best-selling authors, and business owners. Each speaker, listen to this, this is the key part, will share a short video message which includes actionable advice that will sharpen your skills, maximize your performance, overcome common challenges, and succeed in areas where you may have failed in the past. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that. And this is, I really shouldn't even have to explain it. I'm hoping this explains it. So I'm not going to explain it. How's that? When you sign up, you will get free online access during the summit dates, August 1 to August 7. Each day, you'll receive an email with access to new speaker presentations that you can watch online or on demand when it's convenient for you during the summit dates. Check out these speakers. We've got Dondra, Vicky, Camille, Mike, John, Danella, Dan, Nolan, Catherine, Paula, Vanessa, Geraldine, Jim, and I'm just waiting on Margie's photo, Margie Jordan, Charles from Clea, Christine, Richard, Adolfo, Isaac, Jackie, Raymond, Meredith, Jennifer, Nancy, and we're still going. I just got uh, conf confirmation from Ralph Grizzle of the Avid Cruiser. Okay, so this is this is unbelievable. At some point, I have to cut off the this, this speaker list. Uh, this is so amazing. And the other part of this, friends, is that I am inviting agents like you to share a story. We would do a quick Skype interview. It would probably be five, maybe six minutes. And I, I want to hear your story, your anecdote. How you made, how you turned failure to success, or just success? Well, how was it? What did it? Let's celebrate you too. And by sharing your story with me, and having other agents hear it, you will inspire them too. And so that's it, really. And then there's a little bit of a bio from me. And I have not, I have not officially opened up registration yet, but I will. The only people I've opened it up to are my my boot campers because I wanted you to give it a test run and now I would like my boot camp alumni to give it a test run too and then I'm going to go uh, to the screen to see if anybody has any comments or questions first and, and let me give you this URL hold on there but I'm going to do let me see if this works everybody if I can send this URL to all let me see if it works ba -ba -da -da. I don't know if you all got it um, Okay, there you go. Uh, summit dates are Wednesday through Tuesday, so it'll be Saturday and Sunday as well. Yeah, it go it go because Patty. Here's the deal: it's a it's entirely online and it's entirely pre-recorded videos. All right, uh, I might do something live, but I know how difficult it is to get people to sign up for live things because everyone's got busy schedules. And whenever I do, and anybody does a live event. Get this, 57% of the people show up. Now, if I was charging for this and you had to be there live, I think it'd be different. More people would show up. But whenever you do a complimentary event, I don't know why, but 57% of the people show up. Interesting, right? Uh, so, and the beautiful part is every morning you'd get an, uh, an email with links to the new speakers for that day. So there's one other part I want to, well, first let me see if you guys have any comments or questions thus far. I'm looking at the boards here. I'll give you a couple of seconds. And by the way, bless me with your voice. If you'd like me to turn your microphone on, please invite me to do so, and I will. So we can actually hear you, and you can ask, uh, ask that question. Oh, that's not what we want. You can ask that question. That's what we want. All right. But I would love to see if anybody has any immediate comments or questions about it. Um, I did tell you in boot camp and my precious boot camp alumni that you will have uh, free access uh, during the summit dates and beyond. So that you guys and gals, and this is my loyalty to you, my thanks to you, my gratitude to you, uh, which I will explain, well, what happens after the summit dates? Is it gone? Is it off the air? Is it still accessible? And the, the, the answer is going to be no. See, friends, we have to give things a sense of urgency. It's just like group launch sequence. 
which means that you can have an, an open for sale date and a closed. We're closed. Sale is has ended. And I hope that during that time period, you've sold out because that's going to be your sing single biggest sale date. Now, of course, people can still call you and buy it if you still have space available. But the, my point here is we need to give a sense of urgency. If I just said, yeah, the summit dates are August 1 to 7, but all of these amazing, amazing speakers, their videos, the, the summit information will be available forever, then who's going to participate August 1 to 7? Think about it. The sense of urgency is gone. But you guys, everyone on right now, will will have forever access because you're either boot camp now or boot camp alumni. So let me just see if there's any. Uh, Michael says, got the link, works fine, already signed up. Cool beans. Thank you. Gene Ann says, greatly appreciate the recordings. Be available and free to us after the dates. You got it. So what I want to do is, and, and I haven't seen any more. Okay, Karen's is all confirmed in the summit. Beautiful. What I want to do is go to the next slide. OK, and I want you to read something because the way this is working, friends, is is that uh, all of these ex uh, these executives and and of course, they, they're they're my friends and they're very excited to participate in this truly. And I also have some professional coaches, Nolan Burris, Mike Marshev, uh, uh, you know, R Richard Earls, a lot of professionals that I that are not suppliers. They're not suppliers. So what I want to do is I want to read you the double opt-in email. If you have not registered yet for the summit, what I would like you to do is realize that it's a double opt-in process. Once you say click for free access, you're going to put your name and your email address. You're going to get an email in your box. This happens all the time. It's nothing new. Nothing new. It's standard procedure, standard protocol. And then here's the email you're going to get. And you're required to subscribe to this list. It's a form of privacy protection. So you, you get to say twice, yes, I want to participate in the summit. So what I want to do is read this to you because you might not be able to see it. I'm not sure. Please confirm your free registration for the Group Sales Success Summit 2018. Here's what it says. The Group Sales Success Summit 2018 is a highly specialized event for travel professionals. When you sign up, you will receive complimentary access during the summit dates, August 1 to 7. Important. The professional business coaches who are producing custom training for this summit will receive a list of participants. As a thank you for their important role in this summit, I have given them the option of sending participants a follow-up email. By signing up for the special event, you acknowledge this possibility. It is entirely your choice to connect or opt out. Next steps, I am crafting an exceptionally strong agenda for this major industry event. I will be back in touch with updates. So I want to stop right there and I want to, I want to see what, if you have any comments. If there's anything that you want to share about what I just said. Do you understand what I'm asking of everybody? Do you understand how this is going to work? Do you understand why um, I'm getting all of these professional speakers and suppliers? I'm not charging them a fee. They're doing it for free for me, for you. Suppliers are not going to get the list, but the professional speakers and trainers will. And some of them will, won't do any follow-up, but some of them will because they're in the business of building their list and it's, it's like what I do too. Let's do something free for the industry. Let's do something free for the community and let's see if we can build our list. If you don't want to be on my list, opt out. That's okay. I can't help you. And friends, this is an example of what I need you to do in your business. Do free stuff. Do a six-minute video. Do a 60-second video. Write a blog. Send a po Do something complimentary that people appreciate, that people can use, and a certain percentage of them will want to stay on your list and might buy from you down the road. Now, I'm not selling anything to you guys because you've already bought boot camp or you bought the boot camp extension, and I'm grateful for that. But I'm giving you guys sort of a, a lift under the hood because I want to get your feedback. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing this day by day. I've never done this before, ever. I'm very excited that it is absolutely 
a snowballed into a very huge event. So let me take a pause. Let me see, uh, read some of your comments. So Karen, you didn't hear what I said. You said, I'll be in Scotland from August 1 to the 4th. Will I lose all that? The answer is no. Listen to me carefully. The beautiful part about being in boot camp now or as an alumni is that you guys will have forever access to this information. Because I love you. That's the way I'm showing my loyalty to you guys. I want you to have it. And anybody new who joins boot camp will also have access to this, even if they didn't sign up for the summit, because I'm going to load it up. It'll be a part of group boot camp. I hope that answers your question and makes you very happy, Karen, because I know no matter what dates I pick, I don't know, 30%, 40% are going to be busy. I get that. So between August 1st and 7th, uh, it will be live and free for the whole world if they register. On August 8th, it won't be, but will be for you guys. Hope that helps. Gene Ann says, uh, good GDPR compliance. Thank you. I'm already on some of their list. If you could ask the questions to screen for duplicates before adding us to the list, it would help cut down on volume. Okay. I, I get that. You're right, because you may already be on Mike Marshev's list. You may already be on uh, Dan Chappelle's list. I don't know that. So I will tell them that, hey, if you see any names that are already on your list, um, do you think you can sort of filter that out? And that's a great point, Jean Ann. I appreciate that. Indeed. Patty says, what's the subject line of the email asking us to reconfirm? Trying to locate mine. Did not recall receiving it after submitting for the summit. So, Patty, it will say, it will actually say in the subject line, uh, con confirm your registration. Confirm your registration. Now, I'll check the system to see uh, if you're in. Um, it, and, and I don't know why you wouldn't have received it. Maybe you went to a spam folder. Have you gotten emails from me before? But it is automatic. I use MailChimp, and it's set up to be instantaneous and automatic. But I'll check you out, Patty, to be sure you get it. Allison says, uh, hey, so happy we'll have unlimited access to the summit. Uh, thank you. You're very, very welcome. I appreciate those words. Karen says, thank you so much. I just heard you weren't going to save it afterwards. Oh, no, we will. Uh, Lena says, I think your group sales summit is a great idea. We'll definitely register. Thank you, Lena. I appreciate that very much. Um, and Lena, if, if you think this is something worthy of travel agent hacks, um, I trust that you'll get the word out. Or if you need me to do anything uh, for that on your behalf, uh, for the, the members, let me know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nancy says, same for me. Please check I'm registered. If I'm registered, yep, I will. So he, here's the deal, folks. Once you do that, you should get an immediate email asking you to double opt in, okay? Um, and if you didn't, then I, I'm going to check the systems. That's why I'm grateful you're helping me out here. But I've done some testing where Karen says, here we go. Karen Dawson did it. And the subject says, Group Sales Success Summit, please confirm registration. So that's what you should get. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this here. And I'm going to and I'm going to send it to everybody. That should be the subject line. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Jean Ann said, I think I registered using other computers instead of a confirmation. It opened this live call. Really? That's interesting. Huh. Gina, let's talk offline about that. That's weird. Uh, Lita said, we'll contact you later. We'll definitely promote Travel Agent Hacks. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Truly, I do, because I, I just like you guys want referrals, I do too. I want the, this to be a massive, monstrous, incredible. I want a 1,000 travel professionals to participate, truly. Allison said, I got an email. The subject line reads, the group says, please confirm your registration. Beautiful. So it's working for you. All righty. Now, uh, so is there... Uh, any more comments, questions, or suggestions from you guys? And, and then we're going to move on. We'll get down to down to the other business of the day. But it's important for me to to hear if you guys have any questions. Uh, before I tell you any more, there's a couple more things I'm going to tell you. Um, well, no, there's not. Is there anything else I want to tell you? No. And, and said if 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 I would hope somebody out there would want to share your story. Uh, so that I can do an interview with you just for a couple minutes and, and put you in the summit. If you'd like to do that, shoot me an email, let me know. And if you have not registered yet, you don't have to leave this screen. Uh, you can do it right after. 
but I, I absolutely, I am open to hear it all. Your constructive criticism, your feedback, because I want this to be a really stellar, spectacular event. I, I truly do. I really think we got something going on here. Nancy said, when you click on the info, it leads me to this webinar, not the, uh, on, um, not the, well, on the info. What info? Um, interesting. Hmm. Which, which link? Judy says, I guess I already registered before, so it says I'm already registered. So it's working. Good deal. All right. I don't know what link it is. Um, oh, oh, I wonder if, so the summit link, the URL for the, uh, are you to, guys talking about the summit link? Um, Michael, it's you and Mike Marshall, of course, it will be spectacular. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mike is, Mike is going to be a big part of this too, of course, naturally. Nancy says, please post link to register again or let me know where it is. Okay. So the, the basically you just need to go to that website. Hold on. Um, let me go here. Let me go here. So this is the link that I'm, I'm trying to send out to everybody. Let me just see some. Okay. I'm going to send this to all. It's stuartlloydcone.com forward slash the group sales success summit, but it's got hyphens, right? So it's the hyphen group hyphen sales hyphen success hyphen summit, but I'm sending it to all. Did you all get this link? All right. Maybe I posted the, um, the, the webinar. I don't know. In any case, I'll make sure you all get it. I'll post it in, in, in uh, Facebook again, and I'll send an email out. All right. So I'm going to close the chapter on. I'm going to close the chapter on questions for this. Uh, does anybody think they may want to sign up to be a um, to be somebody that I interview? Anybody? 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 No. Okay. Uh, Car Carolyn says, hi, Carolyn. Will the summit be one hour each day? Well, it's it's not actually like that, basically. And that's a great question because this is something that so many of us had never, I've never participated in something like this before until I did and I knew how it works. So once again, every day you'll receive an email from me in the morning, everybody who registers. And within that email, it'll say Don Juritzenthaler uh, and, and it'll have the link and then Mike Marshev and the link. Now, I, I haven't decided yet if you need to click each link to see each speaker. What I'm probably going to do, which I think will be more convenient for you versus clicking each link, I'm going to set up a page. For instance, day one. And it's going to say day one here Listen, everybody, here are our featured speakers for day one. Here are our featured speakers for day one. You're gonna, and, and it's going to list it. Let's say it's Dondra, it's Mike, it's uh, Richard, uh, and it's, it's Raymond, right? And when you go to the page, the videos will be there that you could click and play. And let's just say you're in Ireland, you're in Scotland, uh, you're in Dubai, and you, you you got busy, you couldn't you couldn't do it that day. No problem, because on day six, you can still go back to day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Well, not day seven till day seven. So no matter what day you're on, you can always go backwards. Like in group boot camp, you can always go backwards. You can toggle back and forth. So that's the way it's going to go down. Now. Let me answer directly that question, Carolyn, which is, is it an hour a day? Well, each video is separate. So the video that Vicki Freed does is going to be a separate video from Vicki, a keynote address. Uh, the video from um, Adolfo Perez from Carnival will be a separate keynote address. So there'll be independent individual as if you're going to a conference and they're stepping on the podium to speak to you. They will be short and sweet. I've asked all the speakers to keep it short and sweet. Six to ten minutes, the shorter the better, the more potent the better. Share an anecdote. Give us something we can we can bite into and we can learn from and we can use to better our group business. So I'm not sure it's going to be even an hour a day, Carolyn. It may be less. If I'm doing th if I'm doing three speakers a day, three times six, let's just say, that could be 18 minutes. Uh, but then again, I'm going to be doing a training webinar too, and my wife's going to be doing, Kimberly's going to be doing something on uh, wellness every day, 
on productivity and maximizing performance through wellness. So I would probably say if you were to watch everything each day, it's it could be up to an hour's worth of material, but you can watch it at any time. And if you can't do it that day, watch it another. Tell me if that makes sense, if that helps, and then we're going to get down to business. Karen says, yes. Nancy said, yes, I'll be interviewed in person would be great. When can you make it to Portland? Not anytime soon. I'm going to be in Vegas, uh, Fort Lauderdale, and New York twice this month. I can't come to Portland. I would love to. I really would. Uh, Carolyn said, me possibly. Good to be interviewed. Michael says, it sounds exciting. Thanks so much for putting it all together. Truly my pleasure. I love it. It's a labor of love. Carolyn says, sounds great. All right. Terrific. So we're going to get down to business. And listen, uh, if you have any more comments, reach out to me. One-on-one uh, -on -one by email. I'll give you my cell phone if you don't already have it. Actually, yeah, okay, area code 631-877-9080, 631-877-9080. I, I, some of you already have it because I get texts from you all every once in a while. All right, here we go. Let's get down to business. And I know, Lena, you had a question before. I think, Karen, you too. But let me get to this first one here uh, from Karen because this came in first. All right, listen, everybody. I have a mature woman who is the life of the party and can get everyone to join her doing anything. <clears throat> she actually was the birthday girl for the Carnival Cruise. I just took 24 people. So Cameron just did a Carnival Cruise group of 24 people, and this was the birthday girl. And people love her. She wants to come to work for me. Yay! I'm thinking she could be a great group leader for her senior center. Great idea. That's awesome, especially that she's the one who's showing interest. Do I offer her a small, uh, uh, it's dollar signs, I guess, incentive or a small amount of money plus the cost of her trip? So I think this is a great question, and I want I want to also address, uh, ask all of you on the line, what would you do? What would you do if somebody like this approached you and said, I want to come work for you? Of course, you'd be jumping for joy. It's exciting. I want to know what you would do. And let me tell you, I think what I would do, uh, first of all, she wants to show an enormous gratitude that she she, she she loves doing this stuff and, and she loves being popular. You know, that's awesome. And I would take her out for lunch and say, tell me, uh, how do you want to participate? Do you want to do one-on-one -on -one sales. So if I get some calls for certain types of trips, you want to be trained as a, as a true travel agent? And she'll probably say no to that, but you never know, Karen, you never know. Number two, say, would you like to be a, a, a sort of be the leader? Because obviously she, she embraces being the leader, so it's okay saying group leader. Uh, you know, some people don't want to hear those words. They don't want that responsibility, even though they are. They don't want to hear it. They're busy people. And then we can do we can do a trip a year. We can do two trips a year. We could do motor coach trips domestic and we can get on cruise ships and we can do tours and we can do hotels. So where do you want to travel? And then we can have all your friends and family uh, at the senior center travel with you. Does that excite you? Yes, that's great. And Karen, here's the clincher. Here's what I would say to her. I would say what what do you want? What can what can I do for you as as a thank you, as a form of payment? Say it right out, uh, because I think this is great. I think this is wonderful. People love you. And but I want to make sure that I take care of you. I want to take care of you. What can I do now? There's a chance she's going to say, nothing, nothing. I just love being the center of attention. Sign me up. I'll do whatever you want. I doubt it. There's a good chance she's going to say, man, it would be great if, um, is there any way that I could go at a lesser price or I can go free or something like that? Well, there you go. Then that starts that in, 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 talk about that. And, of course, you never want to guarantee any free travel or any discounted travel up front. You never want to do that. You want you want you want to say fine. We'll lay out a plan, and I'll show you that based on. Whew, I got so many texts here. Um, that that uh, plan that based on sales that we can see how we can work it out where you can either travel at a reduced price or perhaps it could be at at free. It all depends on 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 our sales. How do you like that? She may love it. 
Or, you, you know, Karen, she may say, you know, um, I, is there a way I can make money? I'd love to earn a couple of bucks on this. And, and then you structure an incentive program that way. You say the same thing. Well, I can't guarantee you anything up front, and I can't give you any numbers right now. So why don't we put our heads together and come up with a concept for a trip where you want to go, where your friends want to go. And then I'll come back to you and I'll put something together to show you how, how you can earn money on, on the sales. Would you like that? Yes. So I would tell her that you want to thank her. You want to pay her. You want to make her whole. Uh, what, and ask her what she wants. It makes no sense offering her something that she may not want but we'll end up taking advantage of. For instance, if you say, would you like to travel free and make money? She's going to say yes. But what if she had never thought of earning money? She just wants to travel free. Now you're on the hook for both. Now you're on. The, now I'm going to stop there, see if anybody has any comments. And then uh, Alina, we can come back to your earlier question. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, hang on. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. Da, 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 da. Okay. Lena says, why not uh, at, start to ask her what she thinks is fair? There you go. So, Lena, I, you probably typed that before I jabbered on. So, Lena, I think you and I are agreeing. Karen, does this make sense? So, I'll, I'll read what Lena said here. Why not start to ask her what she thinks is fair? What do you think is fair? How could I, you know, how could I do something kind for you? For, for doing this. I want you to come work for me. We are, we're a great team. We're a great team, aren't we, huh? We could do some really fun stuff together. Well, how, how can I hook you up? How can I help you out? What do you want, right? There you go. And Karen said, that's exactly what I was planning to do. Coffee with her next week. Beautiful. It's an exploratory meeting. Don't make any promises, any guarantees. Remember, we never say, I'll try, because what are they here? I will. But Karen, report back. I think this is a great opportunity. I really do. All right, Lena, I'm going back to your question. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, and Lena, you and I will hook up later. We'll talk um, about that. I'm going backwards, everybody. Hold on here because Lena typed a question in. I'm going to find it there. Here we go. Listen up, everybody. We'd love ideas for fundraising. We'll be working with a marching band that has been asked to represent the U.S. at Normandy. Next June, need to raise, oh my gosh, $600,000. Did I get the zeros right? Planning on putting together several river cruise groups, do events at restaurants, raffles, do lunch presentations at big companies where we promote river cruise groups. Does anyone else have any ideas? Okay, so this is a fundraising. And again, it's for a marching band that has been asked to represent the U.S. in Normandy next June. So my guess is this money, Lena, is the money that's going to help bring the band there so they could play because they've been asked to represent the U.S. in Normandy, but government's not paying for them. They need to pay their way, and they need to do a fundraiser, I think, if, if I'm hearing this right. So you're going to plan to do trips, uh, several river cruise groups, restaurant raffles, a whole series of things. Um, and so uh, one quick question, will, will these trips tie in with this event or not? I'm just curious, Lena, if any of these travel trips will actually tie in with the event to see the band play, to attend the ceremony. Let me just ask that question and then let me crunch my brain here, see if I could come up with some concepts and, and see what everyone else says. Um, let me just see. She, I, she's probably typing, typing, typing. I'm waiting to hear, hear, hear. I don't see it just yet. So uh, I think that, first of all, uh, it's exciting. That's also a daunting number. Um, uh, Nancy offers, our high school band went uh, uh, it, to march in the Orange Bowl Parade. We raised our own money with bake sales, candy bar sales, begging for money and car washes. I hear you, Nancy. That's the old roll up your sleeves uh, way of doing it, right? Let me just read that again. Bake sales, candy bar sales, uh, and begging for money, car washes, loud and clear. Uh, thank you, Nancy. You're right on the money. Lena says there are 200 kids going and all their instruments. No, the fundraising is separate, will not coincide with the trip. All right. So here, here's an interesting thing here. So basically, as a local business person, Lena, you're saying, hey, what can I do with my travel company as a local business person to help uh, contribute to 
or participate in the fundraising success. I definitely see this as a very, very big project. It's a lot of money. So immediately I would say you want to get strategic partnerships. You want to, and this is a wonderful uh, opportunity to get yourself in the door of other businesses uh, that you have always wanted to talk to, befriend, uh, who knows who could come down the line, but you're not going selling them your wares. You're going to say, we have a common cause here in the common fundraising courses. Let's send our band there and, and, and we're going to get some in, we're going to do a good deed. We're going to pay it forward, but also we're going to get some great exposure for our local businesses, right? And and you you do know that I'm sure these kids and their parents will have no problem uh, po making a poster, wearing the shirt with your logo, posting on social media. Your so the beautiful part is. I think you can get even more out of this, some great local exposure that you're one of the businesses, assuming you're going to get strategic partnerships that are working real hard to help raise money. All right. And each of you in your own businesses are going to do things like you're going to do, Lena. You're going to have trips that are going to have a percentage a percentage or a, pro, a percentage of the proceeds are going to go to fund this event. You can leverage that. I love that. That's terrific. Yes, yes, yes. And other business will do similar things. And then my guess is, Lena, you could do things together. Maybe you could have some kind of a, a, a little music festival or or something at the library, whether it's indoor or outdoor, something where you have people come out and they do things. You you have an event, of course. You know, and it could be a bake sale. But you know what I'm saying, where everybody comes together. And then the beautiful part is there's going to be posters. There's going to be social media. I guarantee you, you're going to be able to get great press from the local newspaper who may want to help from local bloggers who want to be attached. The key is, like I'm doing for my summit, like I'm doing for the summit, This the second I ask a supplier or a professional trainer to be involved when they go to the website and they're like, holy cow, I want my face there. How could I be left out? Right? It's called momentum. It's called the bandwagon, the bandwagon approach. Right? Then I think you're going to have so many businesses, so many companies that you're going to have, you're going to be able to hit that goal. You're going to hit the mark and exceed it. Lena. All right. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Let me read you all your, the, the comments you're making right now to see if I'm on track, if we need to go deeper here. But that's that's the first things that hit me. Jan says a business owner reached out to me about doing. OK, Health Club. Hang on, Jan. We're going to come back to you. We're going to come back to you, Jan. Hold that thought. Lena says they have a few other income streams, but bake sales will not reach their goal. I hear you loud and clear. But you know how to get the six hundred thousand dollars, Selena? One cupcake at a time. <laughs> one dollar at a time. And 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 obviously it can't be one bake sale. But if you have if you have a dozen local businesses each doing their own bake sale, then you you got money coming in. And when I say bake sale, I'm using that to just loosely describe a fundraising event. Because everyone's got a different business, especially those who have a retail location who can accommodate people. And you may have some places that will gladly donate space. And then it's it's one dollar at a time. I know you're looking for the big hit. I know you're looking for a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, twenty thousand. That's gonna be real hard to find unless you get, listen to me, corporate sponsors. If you get a local bank, if you get the local, if you get Kroger, if you get Whole Food, if you get a local business. They don't want to do fundraising, but they'll write you a check for a grand. That's a whole other story. That's a whole other story, and that could work too. But, man, I don't know if you want to take that role on unless there's going to be somebody in your community that says, okay, I'm going to volunteer. Maybe it's you, Lita, that's going to volunteer to go solicit for that kind of fundraising. But it's going to be a lot of bake sales and the like. Karen says, when charities ask me for free trips for their events, I suggest and said they buy a cruise. For example, at cost of uh, 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 $5,000 and then start the live auction at 6000 and it goes up from there. So they can afford to offer a fabulous trip and make some money as well. You can also add on, uh, for example, $100 to every cruise you sell, telling your clients that the $100 will go to them. 
Absolutely. So it's kind of like when you're going to do checkout at the Whole Food or the Kroger or wherever, would you like to donate to a particular charity today, right? In this case, it's different. It's travel. It could be $100, whatever the number is. I agree. The other thing I want to tell you is that on the last coaching call, we started talking about certs or, or certificates. You guys remember this? I posted it in boot camp. That uh, and John, I don't know if you're on, but the opportunity and there's several of you who already are doing these things. You buy a certificate that has a set value from a cruise line, Royal Caribbean. I posted it in boot camp. Celebrity does it too, and my guess is all the cruise lines do. I don't know. Uh, you buy that; it's commissionable, and then so instead of everybody traveling together on one big incentive trip, then uh, they can go when they want, but they have to book it through you. Right. And and, and it, it tells you what it's valid for. So it gives people the freedom, the option to do what they want to go where they want to go. And a lot of times they'll bring other people. So it could be extra money to you. So, I, I, Karen, I appreciate you bringing this up, Lena. It's a great idea. Why not um, see if it's possible for you to, to you lay out, you go buy these certificates and then you go out to other local business. So you listen, local business, you know, but. This is the cost. This is a $4,000 certificate when we're going to auction it off. Let's have a massive raffle, a massive fundraiser. Maybe you can raise $10,000, $20,000 or $50,000 by selling these $20 raffle tickets for a $5,000 cruise certificate that you could use at any time. That's a great idea. I appreciate that. Um, Lena says planning a big event with the band playing have corp corporate sponsors beautiful so I know you're way ahead of me I get it I know it's it's hard when we're not talking because I'm, you know I'm a dollar late and what is it a dime a dime short and a dollar late something like that a dollar donner oh I don't remember what it is um, Karen says one fun thing you could do would be a progressive party with several businesses for example a corner bakery to do an appetizer the luggage store to do exotic drinks a jewelry store and you know blah 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 then a restaurant to do desserts charge a fee to do this with all the money to them could be fun for all the business same mall great idea great stuff I've seen that happen here locally in Memphis too so many business come they contribute and basically the whole is greater than the sum of the parts it's an amazing experience and people pay money and there's auctions this that and the other thing and it's a big event it takes a lot of time to plan but it could be very very big I love it I think it's great and I appreciate that. Lena, I hope you'll report back so we know. Let me, Jan, let me take on your question. A business owner reached out to me about doing a trip for her business, a health club I belong to. She wants to start small and short, such as a day trip that's about three hours away by bus. I'm, of course, open. Now, I know, Nancy, you do a lot of, you do motor coach trips as well. So I know you're listening hard to this. I'm, of course, open. But we need to find the right destination to appeal to the most people. One idea I had was to do a survey of three places and see what kind of responses she gets. Is this a good idea or do you have a better idea? This is a first for me. So let me just read the open again. Everybody chime in here. I'll happy to turn your mic on if you want. As a business owner, a business owner reached out to me about doing a group trip for her business, a health club, which I belong to, which is great. You're already a member. Awesome. She wants to start small and short, such as a day trip that's about three hours away by bus. I'm, of course, open, but we need to find the right destination that will appeal to the most people. So this is great because you're going to start small. It's the actual owner who's coming to you to do it. And I know that, you know, I don't I don't know, Jan, if, if, if I don't remember your business model, if you currently do day trips or domestic trips or if you just do cruises and tours or whatever. I don't know. In any case, this is a wonderful, wonderful way. If it's going to fit your business plan, if it's not, you've got to say no and pass the baton to somebody else. So I don't want you to deviate from your business plan if you've got great stuff happening and this is really not in your sweet spot. That's number one. Number two, I think it could be a great way to build your list and make new friends, and it could end up becoming, in, in a year or two or three or four down the road, it could be a big travel event. So I would absolutely say a survey is great. And rather than say, where do you want to go and give them 12 choices, because then you're going to get 12 answers, perhaps I would come up with no more than three, maybe even one or two. Uh, because the more choices you give, the more answers you're going to get. And the people who choose option three, if that's not the trip, 
they, they may be disappointed. But obviously, you want to give minimal choices and give a great description. Remember, don't leave naked nouns. Benefits over features. If a noun is naked, it's strictly a feature. Bring it to life. Show them what the experience is going to be, even if it's three hours away. Here in Memphis, well, there are trips to Tunica, which is a small uh, uh, a gambling area. Uh, for here, our folk, they could go to Nashville for a day. Three and a half hour drive, not terrible, but could do it in a day, of course. Um, lots of options. So that's exactly what I would do. I start with the survey and the fact that the owner wants to do it. Then how awesome. Maybe you guys can just sit there, fire up the phone, and do a little video. Say, hi, hi, listen, I want to do some fun stuff with you guys. Let's let's take a break. Let's get up and out. So we're thinking of going either to here or here. So here's a survey. Just tell us where, where, where in order of preference, right, where would you rather go? First choice, second choice, this kind of stuff. Because we want to plan a day trip together and really have a great time. And then always, you'll, in the survey, you always want to leave a little area for comments so people can type in comments because you may get some great ideas there and get feedback, perhaps a suggestion of a destination that you guys had never thought of. So I'm all over this. I think it's great if it fits in your love circle to do. And I know Nancy and others in boot camp who do, who do day trips, coach trips. I'm sure in boot camp they'd be delighted to – to reach a hand and connect and help and mentor you through this. If you've never done it, I don't remember, Jen. All right. So let me go to see if there's any more comments that, 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 that um, hold on. Okay. Uh, Carolyn, thank you. It's a day late and a dollar short. Thank you, Geneva. A day late and a dollar short. Man, it just, it just, it just, it just wasn't clicking for me. Um, okay. Nancy has a story. Hold on, Nancy. I'll tell you when I'm going to turn your mic on. Get ready. Jan says, I don't usually do bus trips, and she has an idea to do longer trips, but to test the waters for this group. I get it. I think it's great. I really do. Uh, Jan says, three three was my idea. No more than that. I agree. You don't want to go bigger than that. Karen says her immediate, immediate reaction is uh, uh, to do a local health resort. Of course, it would be great if it could be a tie-in so that your health instructor, the owner, uh, they'd be they're, they're adding some additional value but then again I don't know what trips you guys are thinking of doing it could be a gambling thing I don't know yoga on the beach or lakeside bingo a movie uh, a move a little bigger to a three-night cruise or uh, any long hotel weekend at a spa resort wellness resorts are growing like crazy I agree my suggestion is offer sample class beautiful Zumba, yoga, Pilates, give guests some options of classes they've always wanted to take but have never tried. Uh, Karen, you're right on the money here. Exactly, Jen. Maybe this is stuff you've already talked about, considered, but you definitely want, it would be great to connect all the dots. So on the trip, you're actually doing something that the owner, the help is actually, and, and, and they could have some guests too. We're going to do yoga out in the field. We're going to do yoga on the beach, whatever it is, and you know, learn some new moves uh, or jazzercise, whatever it is, uh, so that it gives them more of a reason to participate. The, you've got so many YouTube superstars who do yoga. They do free yoga online. And then they do an event and they sell it out and they make a fortune because first they build their list. They establish authority and integrity and they say, hey, I've got spots for 12 people. I'm going to, uh, to Cancun. Who wants to come with me? And they sell it out instantly. Right. So first you build your list and these shorter trips could be great. All right, Nancy, I'm going to come to you to turn your mic on. Hold on there. Let's see. We've had some issues with this before. But I'm going to think positively that it's going to work great. So hold on there, um, Nancy, and we're going to uh, see if I can get your mic to turn on. Unmute Nancy. All right, here we go, Nancy. Nancy, can you hear me? Hold on. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. But one, please lower or mute the volume on your computer because we have a little bit of an echo. Then you'll be perfect. Would that work? Yes, that Perfect. worked. All right. Hold what do you got, Nancy? Second. Thank you. Just Thank you on. so very much for tur Just allowing us to turn your mic on. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. No problem. I'm going to check the boards here. 
Uh, and Jan says, thanks, great ideas. Awesome. See, this is the beauty of these coaching programs. And I know not all of okay. you can come live. Yeah, yeah. Some of you are listening after. But uh, that's the beauty of these programs. We, we get to share uh, our own experiences, and we all grow together. All right, Nancy, talk to can us. You you yes. can, you can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. This uh, uh, health retreat is very pertinent to something I'm working on right now. So I wanted to share what I'm started and have a few questions as well. Um, okay. I have a lot of things going on and I have um, kind of uh, contracted out with this woman who is a, um, excited as well to help me. She loves to travel. She has a young mother and two little kids and she's excited to help me while she is busy raising her family. Anyway, I asked her to help me um, connect with the woman I met with who owns her own yoga studio um, to go forward with this survey idea. And she sent out a wonderful email to her um, saying that she was working with me and, and my team planning trips and retreats for local organizations. And that um, we had already touched base, uh, her and I had met, and that um, we were talking about the initial steps of planning this retreat. And she was following up, um, mentioning that we'd like to send out a survey to include the details of um, the time of year, how many nights in Maine or outside of Maine, and then um, that type of thing. And then she uh, is kind of taking the ball on this. And this is kind of goes back to earlier what you're talking about. I don't know how to be an employer, but I am paying her an hourly salary at a minimum of five hours a week. But I've also told her that with this particular um, retreat that she is going to have a potential to make some more money. In addition to the um, owner of the yoga studio giving the opportunity to, well, we haven't even talked to her yet about what her choices are as far as if she's going to go for free or, you know, we haven't even had that discussion because we're still waiting to get back from her, hear back from her. So this is all kind of ties together. Um, the survey itself is um, a work in progress and I think it is, is a little too long, um, but uh, what I suggested to Jenny was um, to make it a bit shorter, and and she had questions in there about what types of accommodations, of food and drink, and she had all four months to choose from, or all twelve months. And I said to put in four seasons instead of all twelve months because that's right. just gonna, right. you know. Other than that, um, I'm just I, you can unmute me or remute me and, and say what you have to say about this whole thing, because it kind of all ties together with today's. Uh, yeah. It does. It does very much. Hey, Nancy, thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to put you back on mute. Mute, Nancy. Nancy's muted. All right. So this is very exciting. So I know, Nancy, first of all, that we're, I, I know it. We're all cheering for you, as we are with you, Jan, uh, and and you, uh, uh, Nick, um I'm sorry, who did we talk to before that's got that, uh, Karen, right, working with that lady. And so it's sort of Nancy, this opportunity, it almost ties it all together, a, a new group opportunity plus a new group lead, you know, lead, leader, uh, and, and how does the incentive work, where are you going to go? What's exciting is, is it's, at the, it's at the ground level and that it's, it's either going to um, go this way or it's going to go this way. Meaning that if 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 you and I'm talking to all of you, Nancy, Jan, Karen, uh, Lena, if 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 the momentum subsides and and you don't go full throttle, it may fall by the wayside because there are other people involved here, especially with you, Nancy, right, and you, Jan, that we we want to keep them pumped and Karen, keep them excited. So it really happens before they get distracted and life gets in the way. Um, a couple of immediate thoughts here, too. Number one, I, I, I do think it's very important that as soon as it looks like things are going to happen, that you use the group agreement letter, write it collaboratively so that they will be eager to create this with you and have no trepidations about signing something because 
they want to see what you're going to do and you're going to see what they're going to do. Paper it up and especially the incentives. How do the incentive works? Right. We got to be really careful that we build up so much excitement, so much enthusiasm. And then when it comes down to it, what if they come back and say, no, but you said or but I want more because we're going to have so many more people. So you almost want to uh, nip that in the bud. But you'll know when the time is right, because it, it, it may be too soon in the process. Right. And it's and Nancy, same with you. And you know this just like with Karen. What do you want? Tell me what you're looking for. I can't promise or guarantee things. I, I just need to know what what's in it for you. What, what can I do to thank you? Uh, number one. Number two is the survey. We always want a lot of questions answered. So we'll create a survey this long. Friends, I don't know about you, but I am so surveyed out. Uh, I had a, a HVAC guy come to the house here and survey, survey, survey. I had my car in the shop. Survey, survey, survey. It's just, you know, we're surveyed like crazy here. And so it's unless something is bad, we sometimes or it was extremely good. Right. It's either really bad or really good. We just no, you did good. I'll come back to you. But I, I got no time for you. And especially when you're asking for information, because people don't want to feel like, geez, if I answer this, am I obligated to buy it? That's the key thing, Nancy. You don't want them to feel obligated that, oh, geez, by answering this, that means I have to buy. No, I'm not going to answer it. So remember, the survey needs, hey, we're thinking of, we're thinking of putting something together. Or we're curious what would be your top two destinations, your favorite spot to go to. We're thinking of. Because if you say we're going we're, we're going to do a trip and we want you all to come, where do you want to go? Then simply by answering the survey, they're going to feel they're obligated to go and they're not going to respond. So you, you want to make sure that survey is as inconsequential, as, as simple and uh, as gentle as possible and short. Now, remember, I preach the one question survey. You've seen it, I think, my one question survey, where you you ask a question and then you just say click all that apply. And and, and sometimes you can do it in order. Uh, just to click click. Uh, 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 tell me in, in preference, what, what would be the most fun destination? If we do something, what do you think of the most fun destinations? Right. And then they and then they could put a one or two or three or four or whatever, because certain survey forms will allow you to do that or. Uh, you can ask the one question survey, just click all the places that sound like fun. All right. Uh, or you give them two choices, no more than three. And, and remember one other thing, Nancy, and everybody who's doing the survey thing, you can always come back with a second survey. You don't have to feel that, geez, I got to get everything now because it may be too much. So at least get Remember, this is part of that that shot across the bow. This is a precursor to the whisper campaign. Hey, there may be something big going on here. Sure, I'll answer your survey because I love the owner of that store and I want him or her to see that I'm participating in the survey. Right. And it would be great too if the survey comes in their name, if they put a quote, if they have a little video saying, hey, I'm Stuart. I own. I'm so glad you remember my health club. Listen, we're thinking of doing a trip. I don't really know. And I'm just curious. Where? Where would you want to go? You know, what, or, or not? Where would you want to go? I take that back. What are what do you think? What are you, yeah, your help will be appreciated? Where do you think of the most fun destinations? Right. That's the word you want to use. And especially if it's if they don't know you, don't ask the question. They need to, because I think people will say, oh, you know, they're the celebrity. I know you. You're safe. I'll tell you where I think of the most fun destinations and I'm not obligated to go. I'm just letting you know. Right. Short and sweet. You can always come back with a second one. Hey, thanks for answering the first one. Hey, everybody. Right. Hey, everybody. Here are the results of the first survey. Send it to everybody. Everybody. Even if they didn't respond. Here are the results. Right. Uh, th this came in first. This came in second. And, and listen, we we, fa we have another question for you. So you know, what do you think of the most fun things to do? Uh, doing yoga on the beach, uh, going scuba diving or going bird watching? You know, so you, you can have one lead to the other because people love seeing the results of a survey even because they're curious, even if they didn't participate. And I think you'd have a great opportunity to go to survey number two that way.
All right, we are at time. Uh, Karen says, have to leave now, Stuart. Going to send a text with a question. You got it. Uh, Nancy, do I set up a contract agreement with my contractor and the Ogo Studio own only? Absolutely. I think you're going to need an agreement with both of them, with both of them. So, and I don't know if it's one contract uh, that everyone reads all together or if they're separate and distinct. I don't know the relationship there. But absolutely. You're better off always getting things in writing versus the handshake because it's also easy if they get busy. It's easier for them to walk away and say, hey, listen, I got no time for this anymore if they have nothing signed. If they have something signed and they feel good about it, there's less likelihood they're going to walk away and give up. All right, we got to go. This is great. If you guys have any questions, comments regarding the, uh, the group the sales success summit, let me know. I'm grateful you're here. Have a great day. Happy sales.